Hi, this is example number one of section 15.4. We will talk here about collision between two objects. So we have two rail cars that they are traveling uh, in opposite velocities, opposite directions, right? And they collide. And then they collide and then they split uh, because they are telling us to find the speed of the car uh, after, after collision if the car B travels a speed of uh, two meters per second. So we can call that velocity A1 and velocity B1. And then we could call, a uh, there is a second stage. So this is stage number one and this is stage number two. We have car A and car B. And velocity of A2 is an unknown, that's, that's what we want to find. And velocity of B is 2 meters per second. So they say, tell us that they collide, the car B rebounds and travels to the right with a velocity of 2 meters per second. So what are we doing here? How do we solve this problem? What we're going to do is draw the impact uh, diagram with the two cars together to, to solve for that final velocity. So that's what we're going to do first. So we will, let me write here, this is the solution. So we will draw the impact diagram during collision. So if we draw our impact during collision, I will not draw any force, external force that is uh, that has a finite magnitude because the collision has a, 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 a such a high magnitude that it all the other forces can be neglected. So when I draw an impact diagram, it's different from drawing a free body diagram because I'm not drawing neither the weight, for example, or uh, the normal forces either because if I have a collision in the x direction, the normal uh, the the surface doesn't make any collisions back or any reaction. So I have only collisions and since I'm drawing those two cars together, the impact or the collision between the two of them become an internal force and then it doesn't appear either. So I have that, uh, that's my impact uh, diagram and I don't see any impact forces. I can say that the impacts are equals to the difference between the linear momentum and these impacts are zero for that diagram that I draw. So I can say that the initial linear momentum are equals to the, all the additions of the final linear momentum. So I can say here that MA plus VA initial plus MA plus VB, this is V of course, um, adding initial will be equals to MA final after collision plus MB final velocity. And from that equation, the only unknown that I have is the final velocity of A because I have the two initial velocities and uh, the final velocity of B. So it's uh, straightforward. So I have 20 mega uh, grams, I have to put it in terms of kilograms. I have to be consistent with all my units. And then I have to say this is 20,000 times velocity in A, which, which is 3 plus 50,000. And I have to be very careful to uh, draw the proper sign of the velocity. I will draw my, free, my uh, coordinate system x and y. So this velocity is positive and this velocity is negative. So I draw a negative right here, negative 1.5, and that will be equals to 20,000 times the velocity VA2, which is an unknown, plus 15,000 plus the velocity of V, which is positive. And the, as I said, the only unknown here is the velocity, the final velocity of car uh, after collision. So I can solve for that velocity. Let me solve, solve for VA2, and that gives me 
the result of, I have it right here, 0 0.375 positive meters per second. So that was the first thing that we were asked to find. So speed of care A after collision. So we got that. And then we want to find the impulse force between the two cars. Now, here we did not see that impulse force when we draw that uh, impulse diagram because that was an internal force. If we want to calculate that impulse force, we have to draw, so that will be the second part of my problem, draw the impulse diagram only for car. I can draw either car. Let me draw it for car A. So if I draw the impact diagram for A, I will have, and I like to draw like a, a, a kind of a vector with a, with a cursive or whatever you want to call it like that, so that it, it makes a difference between a force and an impact. So this is not a force. That's the integral of a force over time because that's an imp impact. And I don't draw in the impact, dia in the impact diagram, I don't draw in either the weight or the normal for the same reason that I explained before. So here we have to apply the same equation, but here we do have an impact, and the impact will be negative impact will be equal to the difference between the linear momentum, but only for that A. So that will be mass A, velocity A2 minus mass a velocity a1. So see, you see the difference? In this case, I had the two cars together. So I had to, my lin, uh, linear momentum was the, the addition of both masses. Here, the linear momentum is only taking care of one mass because that's what I draw in my car. So here I have everything but the impulse. So I can say that this is equals to mass A, which is 20. 0.375 minus 20,000 minus the initial velocity was 3. So the impact will be equals to 52,500 newtons second. And that's how we calculate the impact between the two cars.